Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, you're really welcome. My name's Laura and this video is all about CBL. It's been requested by a lot of you asking about what it actually is, how it's done and how I found it after my first year at medical school at Queen's University Belfast. So first of all, what does CBL actually mean? Well, CBL stands for case-based learning, and as the name sort of suggests, it's all about scenarios or cases that you're given, and they sort of start to increase in sort of intensity and depth as the course progresses, but at the start, you'll be given scenarios that are very manageable and will just teach you about how your clinical learning, your anatomy, your lectures, your tutorials, all sort of link together and actually form what we're taught about medicine and how you're going to be learning things that will help you become a better doctor or a better physician in the end. So in Queen's, how does CBL actually work and what's involved? In Queen's, CBL or case-based learning is really highly looked at as a really beneficial way of teaching students how to become better doctors by compiling all of the information from your tutorials, from your lectures, from your anatomy, from your clinical skills and sort of lumping it all together to give you a better understanding of how things work as a doctor in the hospital and in the real world as well. The intensity of the cases progresses as the year goes on and it was amazing to see the sort of transformation of how I functioned at the very start in CBL to the end and how much more relaxed and familiar I felt with all of the things I was learning and how much more simple things were made by being able to draw them all together and create a better network and understanding of why you're being taught things the way you're being taught them. So in Queen's, they split up the year into groups of 10. These students are all kept together and your timetabled classes are all done within your group. I was B5 in first year and it was a really nice group to be able to mix with, to chat with, to create memories with, but also to be able to learn with and to ask questions and get knowledge from so many different resources and sort of compile them all together to just help give you an overall view of why you're learning things the way you are. So it's timetabled in for two week slots for each case and this basically means that your group will meet a couple of times a week, usually about two to three times a week, in the timetable classes and you'll spend about an hour or two going through different pieces of information that you're given and then using that information to research it in more detail, come back with, well we used a PowerPoint to sort of compile all of the information together and then by the end of that two week session you get then a sort of overall overview lecture of what you should have learned and why you've gone down the road you've gone down to look up information and to make sense of all of the classes you've had over that like time period. All the cases I was given and that we've researched were all very realistic medical cases and things that you could come across as a junior doctor any day of the week. Each CBL case was very realistic and you were given lots of extra information like lab reports, x-rays, bloods, um, other pieces of history like the drugs that they were on, their mental and their physical health and lots of different things that tied it together and allowed you to sort of uh, research in more detail but also understand how complex and multi-factorial um, healthcare is nowadays. By the end of the two week session, we had compiled a PowerPoint of about 50 slides sometimes. And this was really, really amazing to go through, through each session and uh, see how the different styles of other people's learning really impacted their way of putting their slides together, but also how much information you were able to draw out of such a basic case or complex case, but how each one was so um, multifactorial and it wasn't that you were able to just pinpoint straight away what the problem was. Overall, I thought CBL was exceptionally useful and also a great way of drawing together information that potentially I had overlooked or didn't think was that relevant, but how it could be so vital when you become a junior doctor or further through my medical school career. 
I would highly recommend choosing a course that has CBL part of it as it is a great learning tool. It really helped me understand things and also highlighted the way other people learned around me, which I think in first year is quite um, daunting whenever you're kind of left your own devices in comparison to school and things before this. So personally, CBL was something I really enjoyed and definitely look into in more detail if it's something that you think sounds interesting and do have a look through the universities on the medic portal and on their own websites to see if they offer case-based learning as a method of learning for their curriculum. I hope this has helped explain a bit about what case-based learning really is and if it's something that you might be interested in. Please make sure to share this video with any friends or family and also if you found it useful please hit that like button down below. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with more videos about how to get into medical school, what medical school is really like and also just some tips and tricks that I wish I had known earlier just to make things a bit more simple but I hope by sharing this with you you're able to understand what you potentially might be doing in the future. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!